The, the basic idea, of, uh, which we call creating shared value, is about actually applying the capitalist model to addressing issues in society. Issues like hunger, issues like environment, issues like water, issues like health. I've heard a lot about corporate social responsibility. There's been an acceptance that companies somehow have something beyond the immediate profit motive. Well, how does what you're proposing differs from that? Well, I, I, think, I think we're in, we're in a sort of a logical progression. I think that CSR was an effort uh, in companies to be responsible. They need to contribute to the community. Uh, they need to uh, comply with community standards. The idea of, of shared value says that, no, 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 that, there's, there's a bigger opportunity. It's not taking money from capitalism and investing. It's actually re thinking how we practice capitalism. And the CSR approach to p low incomes of small farmers, the CSR approach is fair trade. Fair trade is about making sure that those poor farmers get an adequate price for their crop. And that's being good. It's fair for those farmers to get an adequate price for their crop. And yes, that'll improve the incomes of the farmers. But, but that's not a sustainable solution. That's just redistribution. This other model of procurement uh, is, is very different. It says if you act as a capitalist, if you're a smart buyer, if you help your supplier improve, that allows tremendous improvements in the farmer's income. The farmer can increase their yield, they can increase their quality, they get higher prices, and you raise their income not by charity, not by being a good corporate citizen, but you actually raise their income by being a better capitalist. It's a win-win. But by, by serving a societal need where there's a gap or a limit or where people are unhealthy or where people are not breathing, uh, having adequate shelter or can't get clean water or all the things that we've traditionally defined as social issues, mm. by using capitalism and business thinking to kind of stretch and solve those problems, then shared value is created. You developed the concept and I think you've developed particularly three three areas. One has to do with the product itself. The shared value idea says, well, there's a many social dimensions that can be embodied in a product, and, and there's often customers whose needs are, that have not been served that, that are, are available. So there's the product opportunity. The, the second opportunity has to do with uh, what I call the value chain. If, if we look at that uh, uh, value chain with a kind of a shared value perspective, uh, again, we open up new opportunities to save energy, save packaging, uh, have uh, uh, more beneficial impacts on our suppliers that benefit the, them and, 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 their, and their employees. And then the third bucket has to do with uh, what I call a cluster, uh, that is the businesses and, and, and institutions around a company. And, uh, and the better that ecosystem is, the more effective and competitive the company can be. So the idea here is, is actually to get capitalism working, not against the interests of society and the community, but actually integral to addressing the problems of, of society and the community. If we want to change the attitude of our, the public to business, it's going to be based on what we in business do, what we achieve, what we accomplish. And this is a way of getting businesses thinking about that question.